Didn't you say you were above that? And I think the fact that now I'm not is an indictment of our whole industry. Anyway, how are you gonna do it? Kevin, do you have any doubt that I can get Bill Wyman's attention? Um, you do know that he likes women a little very young. I'll tell him I'm horse from cheerleading practice. Junior varsity. I must be getting closer. I don't mind doing the interview here, but where are we going to put the girls? We need more chairs. They get restless and switch around. Plus chewing gum, strawberry chewing gum. Hello, Mr. Wyman. Say, you're cute. Thanks. Do you have a younger sister? Um... Or maybe a daughter? Um, a sister. Oh, yeah, a sister. Yes, actually, she's in town today from her, uh, Swiss convent school, and she's visiting me in my cubicle. Would you like to meet her? What's her name? Lolita. Let's go. Um, Kevin? Have you seen my sister, Lolita? What? Are you okay, Michelle? Lolita? Lolita? Oh, don't tell me Sister Randolphus has summoned her back to her convent school high in the Swiss Alps. Michelle, what in the world are you? Bill Wyman. Oh, your baby sister, Lolita. She had to run to the, um, puffy sticker store? Yes, she said she was running low on puffy stickers of rainbows and ponies. Rainbows and ponies? She sounds like a complex, fascinating woman. Look, Bill, I'm terribly sorry my sister's gone. But while we're here, I wonder if I might talk to you about appearing on my show, Three Minutes with Joel. What are these? Who's this? Oh, that's Joel. Lovely. Joel, isn't that a man's name? Joel, the hostess of my show. Three Minutes with Joel. She's no sock puppet. Hey, Joel! Are you ready to get big? Too late? Hell, we can go bigger than that. I can have you twirling propellers by Thanksgiving. Stay away, Castro. I don't know what kind of crazy operation you're running here, but these are boobs. And? They're wrong. They're a crime against nature. Whoa, whoa. So you got a little touch of the old enhanced pectoriosity. Half my clients have got it and love it. Ryan Phillippe, Jay-Z, Alanis Morissette. Alanis Morissette is a woman. And Lord knows, she's getting big. You're a madman. I want them gone. I knew I should never have taken you on, Stein. You're going to be another George Clooney on me. I had you pegged for a sissy the minute you walked in here. I'm a sissy because I don't want breasts? A real man wouldn't care. He knows who he is, and a couple of modest fun bags ain't gonna send up crying a mommy. Yours is a really fascinating worldview, and probably the stuff of several doctoral dissertations in psychology, but get rid of my boobs, you lunatic! Here, take this. Tea cream? Pure testosterone, from the testicles of a silverback ape. Wow. Does Jane Goodall know? Apply to the affected area twice daily. It'll shrink you right down. Okay, I'll try it. But if I start menstruating, you'll be hearing from my lawyers. Clooney, you were so beautiful that summer. Joel? Ah! What are you doing in here? What are you doing in here? I can explain. I know it looks bad. No, I think it looks good. I drank this powder and it made me grow breasts, but I'm getting rid of them with looks good. I like them. They're sexy. They are? They're androgynous. They're kinky. They're dangerous. Dangerous? Hmm. Like that album by Michael Jackson. I gotta get rid of him. Before you decide, follow me. She likes them. Sorry, old silverback. Your sacrifice was in vain. Walk this way, Joel. You know what? Now I can. Hey, Joel. Michelle said to tell you she'll be right in. Cool. She's got an idea to give me a special look on account of she's finally admitted to finding me, well, Kev, the only word that does it justice is compelling. How's the tea cream working? Tossed it. I'm starting to think maybe I should keep them. The breasts? Are you kidding? Michelle says she likes them. Did you know she's into androgyny? But Joel, you're not androgynous. You're just a guy with boobs. I really thought this over. Androgyny, Kevin, just may be my destiny. <laughs> Descending, try a little gender bending. You've got to keep them guessing with a little cross dressing. Androgyny, androgyny. Is Joel a she or is she a he? Androgyny, androgyny. This could make for cutting edge TV and lend his lame ass show an air of mystery.
So you're really into this? This look's gonna kill. Just wait till we get you on the air. On the air? Where you'll want to speak a little more softly, less shrill. Shrill? Since when am I shrill? Where is this shrill coming from? I don't know about this. Trust me, you look fabulous. Very Johnny Depp as Ed Wood. Oh, Johnny. That's Joelle. How old is she exactly? Best not to bring that up. Below a certain age, we're supposed to provide chaperones, and, well, who needs all that red tape? Oh, yeah. Good call. Bloody work rules. Bill Wyman, wow, I can't believe it. Joelle, I'm looking forward to doing your show. Joelle? I like it. It's androgynous. Bill, you can call me whatever you want. Heck, I'll even be your beast of burden. <laughs> as long as there's no actual heavy lifting involved or any activity derived from the root word beast. You don't look like a beast of burden to me. More like a shimmering stardust pixie frolicking in the forest glade. Uh, you want to sit? You were a stone from the beginning, playing gigs for next to nothing. What was that like? And did Mick claim an extra share for his lips? The checks were small, but I fancy small. Small and firm. Hello? I'm up here. Right, love. <laughs> okay, that's enough early days. Let's talk about Altamont. Do you have a charm bracelet? I've got a gold-plated heart charm for you with the words best friends engraved on it. It's in my pocket. Go ahead, reach in. Well, well, look what we have here, yo, Mr. Three Minutes with Joel Stein. No plan to be big, all cozy with a rolling stozy you snatched from me who will not take this. And oh my God, dude, do you know you're wearing glitter? Did glitter come back and everyone failed to inform Leaf? Cheryl, I want to see a variety of glitter options inputted into the SimLeaf program on my iMac toot suite. And Cheryl, you will please try to remember Leaf's a summer. And now, Joel, on to kicking you more feminine than ever ass. That's no way to talk to a young lady. So fresh and innocent and firm. Young lady. I'll defend you, Joel. Whoa, Joel, hardcore pathetico, bro. I mean, I might flip my hair or give a foot rub to poach a guest. Maybe even stoop as low as the Blink-182 three-way deep tissue massage. They were all knotted up. But you know the Tom Hanks bosom buddy cross-dress routine? What happened to the other guy? He had talent, too. Sad. That bro is going too far, and you have my pity. Okay, I'm over it. Which is my genius? Leaf, do you have any idea what you're talking about? You, Joel. Pretending to be a girl to snag wicked Uncle Ernie here? That's the who, not the stones, actually. What? Pretending to be a girl? <laughs> ah, Michelle, damn it! What the hell did you do to me? Tea cream. Oh, sweet tea cream. How could I have spurned your male breast reducing goodness? Joel. Stop coming in here, Michelle. This is a room for men, of which I am one, and will be even more so when I get rid of these boobs you pretended to like just to score an interview with a not even in the band anymore Rolling Stone. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Oh? I feel bad. You do. You feel bad. I'm the one with the gazangas, lady. I didn't give them to you. I just got you to keep them by exploiting your most fragile emotions at the very core of your vulnerability out of sheer selfishness. Well, I didn't give them to you. Why, Michelle? Why? Z challenged me to get a stone, and I couldn't. I'd lost my mojo, Joel. I'd lost my mojo. Hey, I know how you can get it back. Grow a scrotum. Oh, wait. Considering what you did to me, you already have one. I'm sorry, all right? Um, wow. That was an actual apology, wasn't it? What? I'm sorry? Where do you get this stuff? All right. Let's forget about it. I'm already down to Deborah Messing territory anyway. And you've got plenty of mojo. I mean, look at me. One word from you and I was ready to keep the cantaloupes and wear capri pants the rest of my life. Who said anything about capri pants? Maybe that was Kevin. Anyway, you haven't lost a thing. You're just as cunning and deceitful as ever. You're not just saying that? Even if we weren't in the men's room and I wasn't dying for you to get out of here because suddenly I really, really need to have a private moment with my lunch, I'd say the same thing. Thanks, Joel. Come here. Give me a hug. No way. Those hooters creep me out. So you're through working out? I've sworn off weightlifting. From now on, it's strictly spinning and jazzercise. I have my masculinity to think about. We can learn something from Michelle, Kevin. To be comfortable with who we are instead of running out to join some celebrity gym, slaves to our own insecurities. Suit yourself, but I don't get the Cartoon Channel at home. What you got there? This? Oh, nothing. Herbal supplement thingy. You sure it's not the bulk up powder that caused Joel to grow breasts? How do you know? A call from Leaf's agent demanding knockers of his own. What were you going to do with it? Drink some? A toast to professionalism and being judged on our merits. The bigger the merits, the better. I can feel it working. 